Joining us now on the story is John Miller. Hey, John. Hey, Gail. It's heartbreaking what the family's going through, and your imagination goes all over the place. But I'm, I was fascinated that the FBI is now involved. Why would they get involved in this case, and what role would they play? Well, the FBI gets involved in cases where you either have uh, the murder of an American overseas, where they can provide assistance, or the disappearance. Remember the FBI involvement in the Natalie Holloway case. I do. And, and they'll is be that automatic? If it's an American citizen that the FBI gets involved? It's not automatic, but when the local authorities believe that the FBI can provide assistance, mm -hmm. so, so the FBI will come at this from two directions. One, there's a team of FBI agents in Panama City that are attached to the embassy there mm -hmm. that work leads and things like that uh, in country. A couple of them will be dispatched, and they have the key liaison with the locals. But there's another team that will come from the Miami Field Division of the FBI, and they'll actually do the investigation here. And the ability they have, being a global organization, is they can send leads to Costa Rica, and FBI agents who are assigned there can run them down. They can certainly send leads all around the United States, provide lab support, technical support, uh, evidence recovery, the divers, other things. So what are the, some of the things that they'd be looking at? We heard about the divers from Terrell being sent in this morning. On the ground, though, it seems there's, there's no trace. She even brought a dog with her, and yeah. the dog has disappeared now. What are they looking for to try to piece together what may have happened? Well, I think they're going to be looking, A, at the forensics and what assistance they can provide beyond uh, what, what Panama provided there in terms of what can be found in the residence. Now, that's a hard one in a case like this where... A person who may be the suspect is somebody who belonged in that residence. Usually when you do a forensic search, you're looking for signs of somebody who wasn't supposed right. to be there. Uh, but they can also detect where was there a struggle, is there blood, uh, was there an area that was cleaned up by doing certain uh, chemical applications that will show that happened. And the technology. Uh, cellular telephones will play a big role in a case like this because she may have disappeared and the story may be that she went to Costa Rica but what towers was her cell phone pinging against? Did it ever get to Costa Rica if her passport uh, doesn't show she got there? When was the last time it was on? Who were the last calls uh, it made? Um, where is it now? Things like that. So there's a, lot, there's a lot that can be provided. And the fact that the boyfriend's back in the United States, what does that mean? Well, that means... What, what can they do? That means for coordinating the FBI's end of the Panamanian investigation, um, they're here on the ground, he's here on the ground, yeah. he's a person of interest, they're going to want to talk to him, there may be, um, there may be a, a polygraph involved, um, if, if that's a, a step that they think is helpful, but I think, um, I think that's going to be the key factor, that, that he's here, yeah. and that, that's how they'll help. John, thanks.